Hi, you guys. Um, I am so excited for this show because I've been planning this with Annie, the queen of recycling from the ReStore for Habitat for Humanity for a long time. And look who else is here. There's Carlos. Yes, from Brinkers. He's here too because you know what? He's getting, all he does is go around and get all kinds of ideas for other stuff. We're in Benita. And here's what I want to show you. This is Annie and John's house they're building. And this is a straw house. This house, the, the, uh, they're going to show us how this works, but they, the walls are made out of straw. And then they're going to put a stucco on the outside of it. But these, the beams were found here locally. They're trees that were milled at a local place. They're going to tell us about that. Their windows came locally. A lot of the stuff in the house uh, came from local places, and a lot of it came from the ReStore uh, in Springfield. So this, you guys, look at this. This is such a cool place. I want to show you some stuff here. So look at this at the front. You got to see this. Look at these beams. So John created that out of logs right here. And then look at these brackets. See all those brackets? He made those brackets as well. No, it is like the coolest thing. There is an under, their front porch is big enough to put um, 12 people for dinner here. I'm gonna see if I can get out here. I wanna make sure I keep my signal, but okay, look at that. Look at that. And the metal roof, and they're building this all themselves. And this weekend they had a party where, okay, so let me show you something real fast here. I'm gonna turn the camera. But look at this. So there's the walls right there. They're made out of bales of straw, local bales. Come here, Annie. And yeah, you guys, I know, isn't this the coolest thing? I tell you, Annie's joining me. So Annie, look at, Yeah. you're a very fortunate woman. I am. God, I, am. I love your place. Can, so, can you believe that? No, it is just. That's I, kind of a, a mis I mean, we didn't think it was going to come out that way, but it came out great. It is just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And Thank I love you. these walls. So tell, tell people how that works. I'll show you Annie in a minute, you guys, but yeah. we want you to see the house. Yeah. So the, the, you put, those are bales of straw. Those are bales of straw that we actually sourced just 15 miles down the road. So this is truly a locally made home. And um, you stack them in a running bond, and sometimes you have to uh, take a chainsaw and break the straw a little, you know, cut it down a little bit so that it fits in places. It's. Um, and then what do you put on the outside of that? Uh, you use lime plaster. Um, lime plaster. Okay. So uh, the lime plaster will end up, uh, you put it on there about three or four coats, and then over time it recalcifies back into limestone. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, and the cool thing is is that limestone actually sucks CO2 out of the air, so it's actually really good for the atmosphere. Oh as my well. gosh, you okay, I know people are going awesome, awesome. They're going, wow, 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 yeah. Okay, so wait, I'm like John, you're gonna meet John in a second. Yeah. But come here, Annie. Okay. So John made these. Look at the brackets, you guys. Look at these. Those are all to code, I want you to know. <laughs> but he made he made all those brackets like that. Uh -huh. John, come here, buddy. This is John. That's John right there. But you got to come around this side so I can talk to you. So tell me about these. Um, oops, I showed the other side over there. Why I wasn't supposed to show? It was real fast. Okay. The house. Right. Um, come here, John. Tell me. Um, tell me about these beams. Uh, the beams are six by six dug fir and six by eight dug fir, and they came from uh, urban urban lumber where they where they take a tree out in downtown Eugene or something. And this guy takes them, mills them up right over here, Long Tom Sawmill, and. Uh, he brought them over here and we installed them. Wow. They're now, supporting the whole house. Okay, now tell me, you guys, look at the roof. See up here, the plywood on the roof? That's black. So tell them where you got that. I love this story. That came from uh, the track and field uh, trials that they had last summer. And it was a booth uh, that somebody had there at the uh, what they called Track Town. And the, this is all uh, half-inch, like, uh, cabinet-grade plywood. It's all sanded both sides. It's it's perfect stuff. And it normally costs what? And you got oh, it for about, about, Usually costs about 40 to $50 a sheet, and we got it for 10 bucks a sheet. Yeah, well, the ReStore was selling it for 10 bucks. Yeah. So they picked that up sheet. at the ReStore, you guys. Yeah. You got to go to the ReStore. Yeah. You guys, that's what we're talking about here. <laughs> the ReStore in Eugene, it's the Eugene Springfield ReStore. You guys, this is what they do. There's the plywood right there. So you're getting a $10 piece of plywood that's way better than anything you're going to find normally in a house. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. And then you're getting that for 10 bucks. So, um, Hold on here. I'm going to reverse this for a second. So, Carlos, there's Carlos. Hey, so, how are you? I bring you to some pretty fun stuff, huh? It is. I like it. I like it. This is the whole. This is my second. Uh, my second uh, uh, Habitat for Humanity. So it's pretty cool. 
So what do you when you're walking around here? Did you realize you could do this much with so little? Uh, no, I didn't realize how how many things, how many resources there is in this town, uh, and you know just just everything from the the quarter inch steel from the you know the windows the the bales of hay. It's just everything. It's just it's a straw. It's, it's straw. Yeah, we keep we, we, we keep Carlos and I get we get in trouble, Annie. Every time there's I don't know if you feel like oh there's a little pull that she pulls us. These are straw bales. There straw is a difference bales. between hay and straw, yes. and I know that I, I live in the country, so I understand that. But it's so easy to say hail, repurpose, amazing. There needs to be a tribute place cards all over the place. <laughs> so John, tell me, t talk a little bit about why you guys are doing it this way. Uh, because it seems to be more efficient and uh, it's a good way to make use of stuff that's normally going to go to the landfill. Right. So, does it feel? Go ahead, Annie. I, I know this is like your your thing. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, just whatever you do, take a trip to the landfill. Just take a trip and see how much stuff goes to waste and how much land is being used to house all of that refuse. So. Our goal is always to tread as lightly as we can on this great big blue earth, earth thing that we live on. <laughs> so when we when we landed here um, in this community, we wanted to make sure that we were doing the right thing for this particular piece of property. You know, and you guys are a go. great example. Yeah, great I, example. I, I mean. Carlos, so you tell people what you do, and because you're gonna, you're, you guys are gonna change Carlos. He's gonna start going. Okay, well, you know what I could do. The thing is, I go to Home Depot, Jerry's, you know, to go get my supplies, and so to realize that I could actually go to Habitat and pick up some of these supplies. Right. You know, not only we're cleaning up, we're not, we're reusing, and we're saving money. Yes. Right. Yes. Saving a lot of money. Yeah, a lot right. of money. There's so a, there's a lot to sustainability. And, and the one both environmentally and economically. Yes. You know. The yes. one piece of advice, yeah. if you if you do this technique, if you find something at Habitat, and you you might be able to use it, or you're going to use it, buy it because it won't be there if you wait. Somebody else will grab it. And <laughs> thus begins the hoarding. Well, <laughs> that is, you're seeing the examples that of That is it. an issue. Okay, but, so you guys, yeah. let's see if we can. I want to I want to get this direction so I'm facing that way. But what I want to do is, you guys, we're going to hope our signal stays because it kind of gets weak over here. But look, here's their windows. You guys can come along here and kind of talk with me if you want. You got your windows in Junction City, right? Right. Yeah. We got them at uh, the Discount Windows place. Uh, we, we found uh, that kind of building to your windows is a very economical way to build a house. <laughs> so we John. chose the windows first and then we put the windows in the plan, you know. You're right, because right. most people have a plan and then they buy and windows. And then they to buy fit. windows and it's like tens of thousands of dollars to do it that way. Well, if you're building new, there's no Right, there's one. yeah. You can, you can be John, I see why you guys are together, you and Annie. You're both you're both crazy. <laughs> Look at these floors, you guys. Oh, this is acid stain. Basically, um, there's 1,500 feet of half-inch PEX tubing in this floor, which will be the radiant heat system. Oh, that's how you're heating the place. Yeah, and I can show you over there where it's all going to come out. And then we spent a week and a half and did this acid saying It's kind of dull looking because it's still dirty, but it will I love come it. off. It's sort of a Now, blue. you guys, this is their going to be their sunroom, and we're just going to hope that everything still stays on here. So look, I want you to see these little lights. Isn't that cool? What are those made out of, you guys? Is that bottles? Uh, PVC. PVC uh -huh. from the restore. Uh -huh. <laughs> did, did you hear my choir yeah. with you? Yeah. Yeah. And then they got glass from? Uh, Art of Glass uh, in, off of West 11. See, and the, to make it like that. And isn't that cool? So this is their sunroom. And John did these really cool walls. I just, I These really... are going to have glass bricks. There's glass and bricks the glass there. bricks we glass get from bricks the restore. The, from the restore? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, from the restore. Yeah. If you guys hear a lot about the restore, oh, you may understand. Uh, and you see that sunlight? That came from the restore. That came from the restore as well. Okay. 14 inch solar tube, which will eventually come down into this room. And These are going to have large, like 12 inch um, uh, glass bricks, and they're going to have LED 
lights underneath that will light oh, up. Oh, wow. You, it, yeah. you are spoiled. So is, <laughs> you got a good guy. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, he Economical. puts me to work, though, so uh, yeah, you're my not, days you're off are not my days she off. She doesn't have days off no. from the restore. Okay, so hold on, you guys. Now, we're going to keep seeing it. Okay, so here's a cabinet that's going to go in. the kitchen island yeah. eventually. And okay. End up being like and we're going to hope we get through here. Uh, turquoise-colored kitchen, so okay. it's not going to look like that. Now, look, you guys. I want you to see this wall. Ready? Okay, so here we go. This is a round wall. Okay, ready? And then, John, come here. Tell him what you're going to do. So, you guys, here's what John's going to do okay. here. This is the pantry, and this is going to have... Um, uh, oh, you have to get on this side of this. Come here. On your side? Okay. Yeah. So, here, you know what I'll do? Okay, I'll shoot so it this way. Hold on, guys. Hang on. Okay. So, John will tell this us. This what... is the pantry, and it's going to have uh, large saloon doors go both ways. And basically, the whole thing inside would just be all shelves, pretty much floor to ceiling nice. for storage. But we want to have the round walls because it sticks out in the middle of the room, so it's almost like it's going to be a sculptural piece. What I want to do on this is this will be covered with quarter-inch drywall that you... That we will hopefully you, source from the ReStore. Yeah, if, and you get it wet, and then you can wrap it around these Seriously? curves. Yeah, and then you take latex paint with a little sand in it, paint that, and then I'm going to use lime plaster and do a Moroccan technique called Tadillac. And you use a uh, olive oil soap and different colored pigments and you bur burnish it with a smooth stone and it gets really shiny. So it should look Who pretty cool. Who is this man? <laughs> An <laughs> artist. <laughs> what you? You're amazing. I think that's really cool. I have never heard of this stuff. Have you ever heard of this? I've, I've, I have. I've actually read some of this. You know, I've guys, seen some shows, but this is like live right here. This I feel like we're, I feel like we're going to start our own show. The, yeah. the Three Little Pigs. I, my title this, The Three Little Pigs Didn't Know How to Do It. We're going to show you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. So, you guys, what's this room here? Like, this is where all the straw is. Is this your great room? Right here? here yes. yes. Okay, yes. so the straw will the straw will not be here oh, at that no. point. No, no, no. That's going to be in the walls. That's the so it's really what's the insulation factor on that? Uh, it's between it's around R fifty R sixty something like that. And, and what's normal? Twenty one. Huh. Uh, is in most exterior walls. Yeah, if yeah. they're twenty one, you're doing good. Oh yeah. Yeah. And in the old days, I think it was eleven and fifteen. Um, so Get we that. should be able to heat it. Well, I'll show you how we're going to heat it. Right over here. Okay, now hopefully we're going to keep our signal. Just hang in there with us, guys. Here's the heating system. All the radiant heat's coming from here. This okay, so there's there's piping underneath the floors then, right? Yeah, and it's all this stuff. It's half-inch oxygen uh, O2 barrier. Uh, oh, look, guys, look. And Check this be, out. There'll be a, a for potable and one for... A, a radiant system, nice. and it comes with a cast iron pump and a thermostat and a bin, which is wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a built-in brain big, is nice. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really expensive. nice. Okay, I really like your brackets. Check these out. Here's another one. See that? He made those. Yes, he went So to look, and way back here in the corner, look, <laughs> back in the corner there. See that? So all these brackets, and look at these huge beams. This is their house, and that's going to show. You'll see those beams in the house because yes. let me show you something, you guys. I know, I sound like I'm trying to be like Mr. Uh, home Builder here, but see, so here's how the walls work. Look, so there's the, there, this is gonna, this beam is on the inside, and then the wall is right on the outside. And see how thick they are with that stra straw bale, locally sourced straw bale? Look at that, and there's the heating system again, those pipes. That's what we're talking about. Oh gosh, Annie, this is so dang cool. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You got to talk this side. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Um, I've learned. I'm learning the hard way all yeah. the time. There you go. So, what's really um, interesting or fun to recognize with all of that, um, all of those brackets that were made, were all from scrap metal that we found at a scrap metal yard in Eugene. So you went and sourced it yourself. Absolutely. And then John yeah. made those things. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back over this way because I know I've got a really strong signal over here. Carlos, don't go away. Oh no. I got to I got it. You got to you got to talk to people here a little bit. Okay, come here. So you guys, look at that straw. I, this is just the coolest thing ever. Don't you? I mean, I love the way they did this because it's so much. Look at. So here's John showing him around. We had him. I, I did this design in Photoshop and then had him cut a stencil, laid it down to one use stencil because once you peel it off, it's uh -huh. it's gone. Uh -huh. Rollered it on and then painted that into the floor. And oh, you guys, check this out. Yeah, Call, John, are you like a, a – you should – got to get a TV show going with you here. Hold on. Check this out, guys. Now, watch. Look at that. That's in the floor, and John did that. Yeah. Oh, my word. Uh, it'll, it'll look a lot better once this thing gets – we yeah. get all the and gets waxed dirt and off of it. You can see all the – did 
Did you see the hallway, Rick? The area rug? The area rug? What? Oh, check this out. The final floor will get I sound like I'm... Look, look at that. That's in the floor, you guys. So look, no carpet. You don't have to do it. You don't have to put a carpet down. You just have this natural look. Oh, my word. And actually, some of that paint and the stencils came from the ReStore. So these... <laughs> I know you guys are getting sick of hearing this, but too bad. They're one of the sponsors. <laughs> the stencils came from the ReStore. So if you haven't gone to the ReStore, there's something wrong with yeah. you because this is where everything is. The, what, the, what a lot of the floor looks like because we cleared all the straw out of here. Look at uh, that. Again, it's, got, it's kind of dull, but it will once we get all the... So what room is this? This is guest room. This is my room when I come to stay out here. Yes, absolutely. And my Vanita, when we have a big party out here. Yeah, and we will. Oh, I got my dining room set from the ReStore. And Hold it goes, on. it goes all the way down from a six to, you know, have like six people all the way, and it just like folds out. To so about tell them 12. again, because okay, I didn't have you on. Oh, sorry. So you got your, you got your dining room table at the ReStore. Yes, I did, and it's so cool. It's from the 1930s, and it has these um, retractable leaves that are just kind of part of the whole thing oh, yeah. so it's like a normal yeah. size table then it pulls out to like 12 feet and you can have all these yeah i want to have like people eating giant turkey legs and meat and <laughs> you know. swords, yeah, swords. <laughs> gladiators it, in Vanita. absolutely you never know what you'll find in Vanita. that's oh. for sure especially so John, at this time of year so <laughs> So what do you put on this side then? The same thing? Uh, this is going to have lime plaster. This will have basically three or four coats of uh, lime plaster, which we have some that has been slaking, uh, mixed up over two years ago, and it's been slaking. What is that weird connection right yeah. there? Probably the bales. They help block out a lot. Yeah. Okay, because here's more. So, so it's slaking is what? It's where you mix your, you premix your plaster, and it sits pre-mixed with water with just about this much water over the top and it basically hydrates. The longer it hydrates, the better it is. It becomes lime putty and the, the longer it hydrates, the more flexible and easier to use it is, the more plastic huh. it becomes. Okay. Um, a minimum is about a week. Mine's been going for two years. I think in, Omen, in ancient Roman times they had a law that said it had to slake for you know something like five years or whatever. This is a really old building method. Huh. So what else should people know when you're doing a straw home like this, um, a straw bale home? That, you're gonna, that people are going to laugh at you <laughs> <laughs> because nobody but, takes it seriously. But uh, I know. When I told people we were doing this straw house, they were like going, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Yeah, nobody wants – but people have heard about it. There's, there's, there well, is, that, I did – we did one recently on a, the first office building in Eugene. Yeah. That's going to be straw bale. Where is that? I it's right. It's that. Hummingbird's doing it. They're awesome. You know Hummingbird Warehouse? Uh -uh. It's right off of Shelton McMurphy behind the jail. It's directly behind the jail. Okay. Um, and they're building it right there. They are? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have they got the straw in? Or are they no, it's up? under construction. Okay. And uh, we did a oh, story. Essex, I think, is doing it. I'd like to go by. But, yeah, it's the yeah, first one in Lane County. Um, so amazing. Goodness, five years of slating. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work. Slake, but you, but slaking. Slaking. <laughs> she said slate. Yeah, slaking. I'm sorry. L S L A K I N G. Very slaking. Good. So, but this is a commitment because you're doing. You don't want to do the regular thing. You want to have this this way. Well, the thing is, it's a, it's slower than building a regular stick frame um, because those guys can come in and they can. Carlos knows this. You can knock one out in a couple days. You know, as far as the framing. But long term, you're going to save on heating and cooling right. over the long term tremendously so that's the big advantage and you feel and, good about it and it filters the air it, it gives you it's a you know it's a really nice environment there will be no uh you know uh vocs or anything in use on this we're using pigments and lime wash for the uh for the bales okay so, so we got to come back when you're done Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. And see it. Come back and we'll do the plastering, too. Yeah, come That'll back be... <laughs> and help us plaster. You guys want to see the house go up? The little, the, this is the house that John and Annie built? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Carlos, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. So Carlos is with Brinker's Contracting Restoration Contractors, and uh, 
I like sitting on the hay. <laughs> so he's also a sponsor for uh, Get Real with Rick Dancer. And we're going to go see a house that you did. You just did a deck recently yes. that was absolutely beautiful. I mean, I was sitting there going, oh, gosh, I wish I'd had Carlos build my deck. It's okay. We still can. <laughs> you can. Well, we want to put a new section on it. So let people kind of know how, how you know what, you, what you're doing and how you can do this. So what I do is uh, I specialize in working with insurance companies. So that means whenever you have a loss, say either fire, water, mold, sewage, trauma, we actually come in, take care of it. We work with the insurance company. Uh, we make sure that you are covered. Your estimate has you know, uh, been approved by the insurance company before moving forward. So that way you're not having to come out of you know pocket money later in the end with surprises and what Carlos because he's we're in a networking group together so I know this guy and uh, we're on an email every morning so I really know this guy <laughs> <laughs> but you and you you really specialize in going in and go you know you're not trying to gouge people you're you're going in and saying sometimes insurance doesn't cover it for everybody and you're willing to work with people absolutely yeah we'll we'll make sure that you know if we are you know, needing to move stuff around, we'll work with the customers, you know, we'll even, I'll even tell them, it's like, you know, hey, you got brothers and sisters, cousins, you know, they, they'll come in and they'll start moving stuff and doing, getting, you know, on helping with the project and we'll make it happen. So, um, Carlos is local, he's from the area, Yeah. I've uh, got a family and this is what he does for a living. He comes in and yeah, every week at our networking group, you're telling a new story about some, something you did or somebody you helped or something like that and I, I love that about what you do. Oh yeah, no, we're doing, uh, we're, we're doing uh, custom cabinets, uh, flooring, hardwood floors. I've got probably three, four hardwood floor jobs going on right now and my guy, every time he walks in, he's either been there before. Or he knows exactly what it is, and he's got no problem with it. Um, we do quartz countertops. We do, you know, all kinds of different stuff. So you'd be surprised. So in July, we're going to go to one of his houses, one of these houses. Oh, yeah. He just did a whole bunch of stuff on. Carlos goes, hey, Rick, I want to do a show from this house. And we got permission from the owner, so yeah. we're going to go over and show uh, show you kind of what you're doing, your handiwork yep. and stuff yep. like that. Don't you love coming to these things like I this? I love it. I love it. I bet you learn ideas from stuff like this. Oh, you absolutely. Go, I mean, people are going like crazy. R50 to R60 insulation, wow. Well, that and I, you know, go get clips, go get nails. They got staples. They got all kinds of stuff at mm. rehab. So you might, you need to go down. All those nails you guys have been tripping over. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, if you're working on a project, now you do have to plan a little bit. Oh, if you're yeah. going to go, if you're going to do something from the restore, and like Annie said, when you put in your windows, you build your house around the windows. You don't build a house and then go look for the windows. That's what they get you. <laughs> you, you know, you can recycle this stuff. When I did my house, we have a 110 year old house. When we remodeled the second time we saved like twenty five hundred dollars in in wood and it was because I was out there looking at this wood and going this is pure fur clear grain timbers that you're not going to find anywhere else so we reused them in our house and my builder was more than happy I had to pull out the nails and do a little extra work but you know what now I know those things are in a good place and I saved a bunch of them and used them for moldings and stuff and it's more fun. People come in your house and they're going to, can you imagine walking? People are going to come in here and you're going to have a story for everything. Oh, we always do. Dinner at Annie and John's. <laughs> Dinner at Annie and John's is going to take hours because you're going to have all the stories. What the heck this is, is that? This is how we're going to spray the plaster on. This is a hopper sprayer. And it's, uh, it was called the Tirolesa. And this is actually uh, made and distributed uh, by a company right here in Eugene, um, mm -hmm. a guy named Nolan Sheed. Um, runs it. I, they were called Tirolesa. I think they changed it to Mortarcrete, but I'm not absolutely sure. I can find the, the, the name now, but I ran into him at Home Depot, and uh, he wants wow. to come out and shoot videos of doing this and, and maybe uh, bring another one out. But, uh, cool. One with a handle, maybe. This thing, you hook it up to a, to a, a high-volume uh, air compressor, gas-powered air compressor, and you need a helper to mix and load it, because as fast as you put it in, you can spray oh, it you out. Oh, you got to fill that hopper. But that thing really delivers the plastic. Okay, so if you if you guys get video of that, you just get it to me, and I'll just put it on my show yeah. or something. Okay. I'd love to show that. Uh, Derek Dickerson, I need countertops. You guys have countertops out there, don't you? Uh, yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah. Check, do. Derek, you got to go check. It's just um, the restore. You know where it is. It's and over it's off of Oak, Oak Patch. Oak Patch, 1210 Oak Patch Road, uh, half a block south off of West 11th. Now, if you're looking for something in particular, give us a call and people will go out on the floor to see if we actually have it in stock. Uh, and that telephone number is 344-4809. <laughs> Can somebody put that number on there, 
4809. 4809. And also for Carlos, if you guys have a project you need done or you got something you want, you know, a fence, a deck, you had a problem with uh, your roof leaking. God, how many roof leaks did you do this year? <sighs> Plenty of them. A lot. A lot more but that, you'll find out when those are good. Yeah, every time we have another storm, he finds out. What's your phone number so people know how to get hold of it? My phone number is 541 514 and that's my personal number, so you can get a hold of me, you know, whenever you like. Hey, Matt, would you put that on there too? Give them one more time. Three, or it's five four one, five one four, three three one seven. All right, Matt, thank you. We got people that just put numbers on for us. It's nice. awesome. Matt's one of my photographers. He works with me. So, tell us what else we need to know before we let these people go. Shop at the Restore. Go to the Restore first and then go to the big box if, store if we don't have it. And if you <laughs> see it and you like it and you can use it, buy it. Yeah. Because if you don't and you think, oh, I'll come back, somebody mm -hmm. else will buy yeah. it. <laughs> no, yeah, you definitely need to be prepared. They have a 30-day return policy, so if yeah. you buy it and you find you can't use it, you can always bring it back. Just yeah. save yeah. your that receipt. Really cool. yeah. Save, save your receipt. Your receipt. <laughs> and the other thing that's really helpful, and especially Annie and I know the other people are just like this too, is... In case you hadn't noticed, they have these really creative brains. And so you can go in and look for stuff, and you will never think of, I like those file cabinets that day. <laughs> Annie came up with ideas for these file cabinets, and I was going, oh, my gosh, that's such a great idea. If I had a place to put that, I would, cert to I would totally buy that right now. Mm -hmm. But that, if you need help coming up with ideas, um, these people at the ReStore, they're really good at doing that. And they have a Facebook page now. Yeah, we have, they a, have Facebook a Facebook page and Instagram. and Instagram. So you should go like their Facebook page and yes. Instagram because what Annie's been really good at doing is putting on pictures of some of the new things that are coming in because I see what you're doing and mm. I, I like to watch what she's those doing. Stools that came in? Those stools. Those atomic looking stools? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Stools, they were stools were awesome. Awesome. And also, Carlos, you have a Brinker's LLC has a Facebook page too, don't you? Yes, we do. Yeah, so you can go in and like Brinker's uh, Facebook page as well and find Thank out you. for Carlos. But you can notify him um, and let him know what's going on. Okay, you'll also see uh, Brinker's and the Restore on Rick Dancer TV every Sunday at 4:30. Um, you guys, I'm going to show you one more look on the outside because I, I, you guys, thank you for sharing your house with us You're and your project and your love and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. It's fun. Oh, God, I, Sorry, I'm excited. Carlos, fun. thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, and we'll be at your one of your projects so we can show people your handiwork next oh, time. Oh, yes. Okay? Okay, guys, come here. So let's go outside. Careful one last house. look at the house. Oh, yeah, she keeps telling me, be careful of the nails because there are these nails that are sticking up. So we're going to go out from the front porch. We are in Venita. We are at the, the Restore. We're not at the Restore, but the Restore did a lot of this. Look at that. There's one more thing. Oh, one more thing. There's one more thing. Here comes Annie. Okay. So today only, if you go to Falling Sky Brewing House, Falling Sky Delicatessen, or Falling Sky Pizzeria, any of the food or merchandise or gift certificates or beverages that you purchase, if you go to our Facebook page and show them the flyer I've put up there, 25% of your bill will be donated back to Habitat for Humanity for the Springfield Eugene Habitat for that's Humanity. That's awesome. Okay, so, that's today. That's today. Okay, so, All day. so Colleen, you can, probably sh probably can't come see it, but here's what we'll do. The Restore is a client of ours, so we'll come back when it's done and take you on a tour when everything's finished and show you. We, don't, we can't have the whole no, world coming over here. No, I can't have the here. whole world coming here. <laughs> we're just, it's There's just a nice reason why we built a fence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and why we're just saying we're in Venita, but we're right. not disclosing the exact location. Right, exactly. But But we will come back and get some pictures, or Annie can provide me with some pictures, and we'll put them online and we, show you. Yeah. yeah, and we do have a Facebook page called Project Straw Bale if you wanted to go like that and follow us. All right. So, um, hey, Albert, did you see this place? Go back and watch this video. I know you just got on here. This mm -hmm. is such a cool thing. This is like right up our alley, um, you know, using what we have. Um, thank you, guys. Now, here's the other thing you can do for us. Um, one, for sustainability. Put, post this on your page. Let people know what's possible. Um, you know, and put something creative on the title, like the you know three little pigs. That's what I put on there. Three little pigs have nothing on this. Um, you know, this is this is more than just a house project. This is like the way we should be doing stuff. So post it on your page. You just share it right to your page. And if you know somebody else who's a builder or who might be interested in this, post it to their page. Because the more people that see it, the more people get the message and understand and really love and see what is going on at the restore. Okay. So I'll quit pitching to you and just let you go. Um, um, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going with Hungry Duck, 
And we're going to go with the delivery person. He's going to take us to a new restaurant, or not a new restaurant, but a new restaurant to me in town. So we're going to have lunch there. And then on Wednesday, we're going to show you a new company who works in solar power. And they actually put in the battery systems in your home. It's called Solar Key. That's K-I. And they put them in your home so that you can be your own desk. You have the, the, the power over your power. So you create your own power, sell it back to the company. They're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, her story is really cool, too. She She's a Vietnam refugee who came here years ago, and now she wants to use some of the money she makes from the project to put back into putting this kind of power in Vietnam, where they don't have power that stays on all the time. Um, Thursday, we're going to Food for Lane County because local realtors are having a big benefit um, to uh, put, provide money for uh, Food for Lane County. So we're going to talk with Katie Hallett and her team and a whole bunch of other realtors out there and Food for Lane County. And then on Friday, you see how my mind works? Um, Friday, Friday, oh, Friday, we're going out to the fairgrounds um, to c give you a pregame. I called one of the food carts. It's going to be out there for the mission. Uh, they're having the big food, uh, food cart festival out there at the uh, Lane County Fairgrounds. I called one of our favorite food carts. They're going to join us out there early, and we're going to talk about that with Leona Houston, another one of our sponsors. So, God, all week we're doing good stuff. We have start you, with a home here and go on through the week. Have you noticed what's going on behind you with the storage containers over there? No. Look at that storage container shed oh my gosh look at that behind Built me around it so you took storage containers and made a shed around it yeah we we uh we bolted one inch uh, bolts oh my <laughs> you guys we welded one inch bolts. okay <laughs> it's also from the restore okay john wow. guess what everybody wants to marry you now <laughs> john will make a great partner for everybody out there man you just oh, what a handy great. dude man you're handy look at that that is a cool shed <laughs> oh man so we basically we just bolt yeah we just welded bolts onto the top and then just did the regular wall you know nice. stud walls coming that thing's up. not gonna move now another yeah. way of doing it is pack corrugated sells a 15 foot interior diameter culvert and they'll cut it long ways for you and they have a band that will go in between so that's two 20 foot pieces and that way you could weld that just set it right on top wow. and have it span the guy doesn't yeah. stop we could be here all day <laughs> showing you stuff wow. you guys put this on your page post it away and we'll see you tomorrow with hungry duck um, at a new